Hey, what's up? I'm Jay Steele, the biggest Pixar connoisseur on the WWW, and I'm here with the king of Pixar, Pixar's lucky charm, John Ratzenberger. Thank you so much for joining me, John. The king of Pixar, huh? It's true. John has made a cameo in all 23 Pixar movies, and in this video, we're going to reveal them all, starting with Toy Story from 1995, all the way up to Pixar's newest 2020 release, Soul. In the Soul world or in the real world, where should we look for you? Wait until the end to hear what John says, because honestly, he could show up anywhere. As you'll see, some cameos are harder to spot than others. So, we'll start with an easy one. Oh, impressive wingspan! And he's coming to Mr. Evil Dr. Porkchop to you! But it's money! With Toy Story, there's so many amazing actors that are in the cast. Do you ever get to interact with them, like, at premieres or at the studios? I always requested to have my recording sure, session I mean, uh, <laughs> just before or so just cool. after oh. Don Rickles. Because then, it's guaranteed I'd get some uh, Don Rickles time. Hey, look! I'm Picasso! I don't get it. You uncultured swine! He's a Hollywood icon. What a lovely man. I always enjoy spending time with him. How do you do? I am the great P.T. Flea! <laughs> Did you record at their Richmond Studios at the time? Yeah, I was at the Richmond Studios next to the oil refinery. Yeah, I've heard it's much different than their current studio, which is like an amazing, like, utopia of oh, filmmakers. Oh, 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 no, it's, it's, it's night and day. Yeah. No, the current studios. Have you been to the current one? No, I've, I've seen pictures. I've always wanted to go. It looks amazing. Oh, well, it's, uh, a lot of it was designed by Steve Jobs. So there's a lot of exposed steel I-beams, like uh, skyscraper girders. But the Richmond office was a rented office. And if the wind blew the wrong way and blew the smell from the refinery, <laughs> you know, everybody left the office and sat in the car. Welcome to the Himalayas! Welcome to the Himalayas. Yeah. Yeah. And I love in Monsters University, I recently got this, that he's the head of the mailroom. And I'm sure that's a reference to Cliff, right? Well, that's Pixar. There's probably not another film company in the world that would do that. All right, newbies, quit goofing around. I'll have you know tampering with the mail is a crime punishable by banishment. And you're reprising uh the role for Monsters at Work. Correct. The new Disney Monsters at Work. Yeah. Well, and also there's a there's another role. So I've been doing two roles for Monsters at Work. Bob's Ganaway, he's the, the director, and he's really a joy to work with because he does it as though he's conducting a symphony. You know, he'll you know you'll go like this and go like that, and so and it makes it so much easier. Hey, hey, you like impressions? Mm -hmm. Okay, just like in rehearsals, gentlemen. So what are we? Take a guess. Oh, oh, I've seen one of those. I'm a fish with a nose like a sword. Wait, wait, it's um, a swordfish. Oh, hey, clown boy, let the lady get. I am always beneath you, but nothing is beneath me. Meet Jack Hammer. Well, let's go up next to The Incredibles and Incredibles 2. You played the Underminer, and I was glad to see he he survived both movies. He came out alive. Yeah. I am the underminer. Well, like with him, it was important that he had gravel in his voice. He's swallowing dirt, this guy. So I made sure that oh, oh, you could hear the pebbles rumbling around. After all, Gascan is my middle name. It is? Eh, not really. Uh, those two are perfect for each other. Rusty's Racing Center. Here we go. John Lasseter asked me what kind of truck my father drove. My father's a truck driver, and my father drove a Mack. And so that's why I was Mac in Cars. In Cars, you play the most amount of characters because there's that end credit scene where Mac is watching uh -huh. Toy Story, Monsters, Inc., Bugs Life, and it's just you over and yeah. over again. Hey, uh, I hate to break up the road rally, guys, but they're here! Birthday guests at 3 o'clock! <laughs> oh, man! Whoever does the voice of that piggy truck, I'm telling you, he's one great actor. How do they pitch that to you, the idea that you're going to be watching yourself as Mac, as the other cars? You know, they did, because uh, John surprised me with that. Welcome to the Himalayas! Snow coat? Oh, that abominable snowplow is quite the comic thespian. So I just recorded these uh, odds and ends, and I wasn't quite sure what they were going to do with them, but uh, that's what they did with them. John, John had this... Idea. These are the lousiest circus cars in the world, and they're gonna make me rich! Wait a minute here. They're just using the same actor over and over. What kind of a cut rate production is this? I was surprised with the rest of the audience. 
Oh the yeah. Premier. I didn't. I didn't know. Yeah. What was your reaction then? Oh, I laughed. I was. Yeah. I was falling off. Falling off the chair. Hang on, the door. Say love it. Oh, sir, Dino's already asking about it. Oh, about Linguini. I have seven more orders. In Ratatouille, you were Mustafa, and you had a perfect French accent. I couldn't even tell it was you. So did that come from your ten years in Europe? Uh, I, I imagine it does because you can just 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 stay in London. So if you go from Chelsea. It's posh. And then, oh, hello. Uh, three or four miles away. All right, John, you're all right. You're a bit peckish, all you love. If you go to Norfolk, if you got the time, boy. Somerset, especially, it's R I E. R E R E R E. Mustafa, he was very jolly. It's like, rum, rum, rum. But I made sure that the jowls were there. Then from the jowls. Then, then came the French accent. Before we talk about John's cameos and Wally, -E, Up, Soul, and more, let's talk about today's sponsor, Skillshare. If you're watching this video, you're probably a fan of animation, and you might even want to work in animation. Well, there's many different facets of creating an animated movie, like writing, directing, storyboarding, character design, editing, animating, and voice acting, and you can learn all these skills and more on Skillshare. Now that's a good segue. Skillshare is an ad-free online learning community with a growing list of thousands of awesome classes. You can learn new skills, and perfect old ones. There's even a class for one of my personal favorite artists, John Bergerman, who drew this pizza, teaches both you and Neil Patrick Harris how to not only animate, but how to draw a bunny. It doesn't get better than that, folks. So fun. It's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription, but the first 1,000 of you to click the link in the description will get a free trial to Skillshare's premium membership. So go check it out. Uh, uh, uh John. Uh, no. John. Next to Wally, where do you play John? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it was John and Mary. They were the, basically the new Adam and Eve. You know, that's the way I, I looked at it. After I saw the film, I said, oh, these two are going to uh, repopulate the Earth. Now we need a sequel so, with John and Mary. We need a sequel. All right. Well, you, you go ahead and suggest that. Okay, I'll do it. No and, problem. Uh, and I'll... I'll wait for the result. <laughs> it's not right, Bill. Yep, Blue Tangs are getting their own exhibit in Cleveland. Being shipped out on a truck at the crack of dawn. Must be nice. Oh, Lord! They want to announce the arrival of the large... We're getting to cameos where it's almost hard to spot you because in Brave you play Gordon the Guard. You have a quick line, but you're also in a Scottish accent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, again, it's like I was saying before, I mean, here you have... Like in Edinburgh, and then short distance away is another city called Glasgow. I was getting out of a cab, and some guy came up to me, older guy too. He was probably about the age I am now, but he put up his fists. He said, "Jimmy, United States Marines, I put my boot in your head." <laughs> He's saying, "I'm gonna put my boot in your head." Oh wow, okay. And but if you understood Glasgow at the time. That's welcome to Glasgow. So we go from Brave now to the Good Dinosaur, where you played Earl the Velociraptor. You have a quick line. Do you remember what it is? What do we do with it's trespassers? It's the scariest line Damn in the movie. Them. Your line is. We kill them. Well, there you go. Do you ever rewatch Pixar movies and you're like, oh, I played that character. I forgot. There, there are projects I've done that I forgot that I was in. Oh now, yeah. Oh, I've been sitting with my family watching something and turn the channels and I'd stop and go, wait a minute, I'm in this movie. Yeah. How about with Coco, do you remember your one word line in that? Next. Your photos of your dentist, Sofrenda. Enjoy your visit. Gracias. Oh, okay. That was, I, I, I watch Coco now. That was Lee Uncred. That's like a museum piece. You can take any, any frame of that entire movie, cut it out, and hang it on your wall. It's just the magnificence of the artwork of that film is enough to watch it. You, know, you can turn the sound off. It's astounding what they do. Those those rascals at Pixar. I'm looking for an ancient gem. Ah, uh, yeah, we know the old days. No, stop! All right, here you go. Your new expanded console is up and running. What do you say to that? <laughs> uh, I take that as a no then. Three construction workers in three different Pixar movies. And I feel like that's also a big part of who you are. You're always talking about in interviews how people should go out and build things themselves. You have your show, Made in America, which is amazing. Yeah, that's that's been my, uh, 
advocacy uh, for a lot of years now because young people should be taught the skills that build civilization. It doesn't mean you have to do that. You can go on and be whatever you want. But it's nice to know that you can fix your own front door. I feel like Pixar no, has that same no. kind of mentality. Pixar just did things the old school way of just work really hard at it. Never made excuses. And you never hear the expression, oh, that's good enough. And that's why they're the most successful film company in the history of film. There I am. What are we waiting for? Wait, not me! Disney and Pixar Soul, now streaming on Disney+. Plus. Now, we don't know what your cameo is yet, but can you tease of if you're in the soul world or in the real world, where should we look for you? I'm not going to tell you. All right. All right, we'll have to figure it out on our own. So, okay. <laughs> again, you know, I, I never do, because I don't like people doing that to me. We were talking about a film the other day, but then they said, oh, yeah. And then when I, I said, I, I, why would you you know, take that little bit of enjoyment away from me? It's, it's the anticipation that's the exciting part. And if you know what's about to happen, there's no anticipation. John, thank you so much for your time. I can't wait to see you again in Seoul. Whatever your part might be, we'll be on the lookout for it. It was truly an honor, really. Jason, it's a pleasure. We'll do this again, I'm sure. Only you're directing your first Pixar movie. I'll be doing it. Don't you worry, I will. I, 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 I expect it. This is not another piggy bank. I mean, what are the odds? You heard of Kung Fu? Well, get ready for Pork Chow. Yep, this is my good side here. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ah, don't worry about it, kid. It's the least I could do. After all, Gas Can is my middle name. Oh, what are you? Oh, missed you, pal. Oh, you look good. <laughs> hey, you lose some weight. Hey, 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 Wally! It's your buddy John here.